All right, welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later for our next deck, which is going to be Bant Familiar. Played this deck a couple of times to really good success, and um, it's been a pretty impressive deck, so let's run it back. Um, basically, we have, I'm calling this Bant Familiar because we're playing Biomancer's Familiars uh, that make our activated abilities uh, cost two less. So we have Incubation Druid that can adapt for two less, same with Growth Chamber Guardian. And then we even have activated abilities of Resplendent Angel and Shalai that usually cost six, but can cost four um, uh, with the Biomancer's Familiar. It doesn't happen very often, but you can run the dream. Um, I think we've done it before of having the Biomancer's Familiar on two, Resplendent Angel on three, and then on turn four, you can already activate this Resplendent Angel and make it a 5-5 five, five lifelinking attacker and, and get your token and stuff. So you, you can activate Resplendent Angel as early as turn four uh, with that kind of curve. We, of course, have like uh, some really good card advantage engines at the top end with Vivian Reed and Hydroid Crisis, just some great cards there. Really good anti-aggro uh, angel package, so we get, we're get we kind of covered there. Um, what we're mostly going to struggle with are uh, the Wilderness Reclamation decks. That's going to be our worst matchups probably, but for those ones in the sideboard, we do have Disdainful Strokes, Negates, Crushing Canopy, Binding, Frilled Mystic. We have all of those cards that would come on in there. Um, we got the honor guards for Sultai as well. So here we go, Bant Familiar. Where are you at? All right, so... Okay, so you just called, called it Unity because um, all the creature types... So the creature types are all part of Orzhov and have been at one point. So you call it Unity. So that's why it's a Orzhov Unity. Okay. Hey, kill us also. Nice. You just, you're just an 18... The 1800th YouTube subscriber? Awesome. Thank you so much. So we're only 200 away now. There, hitting that next goal, and then after we get to 2,000, we'll be doing another 12-hour stream at 2,500, and so on. So, um, you know, every 500 YouTube subs, we'll be doing a 12-hour stream to celebrate. Let's lead with the familiar, because I don't really mind if familiar gets uh, used a removal spell. Like, I'd rather the the familiar than a growth chamber guardian. But I guess technically I don't have two... I don't have two green mana right now. So I wasn't even... Oh, well, there we, we're going to draw it. Because remember, this only costs one to adapt. So with the familiar out, turn three, you can play Growth Chamber and adapt it immediately. Um, so we would have been able to adapt the Growth Chamber Guardian immediately. Yeah, Esper deck worked out really well. Um, we beat Mono Blue three times. This is running into Akaya's Wrath, but... Uh, we beat Mono Blue three times, we beat Esper Control once, and... We also defeated uh, a Rakdos Burn. Um, so if I, if I adapt the other one, then I don't have another creature to adapt. I'm going to adapt this one that they're targeting. So that I still have the ability to adapt the other one and be able to get a Growth Chamber Guardian out of it as well. If you show remorse, I'll show you. Let's skip to the good part. This is the problem with Deputy of Detention. Like, sure, Deputy of Detention can take the Teferi, but do we have any um, any inkling that the Deputy won't just die and then they get their Teferi back?
Keep up the pace. I'm not expecting Warren Warden too much. Hmm. Play this Lyra. I just I don't think we're winning this game at all. As Kanta and Teferi are really hard to beat. You know what? I'm not done. Orzov Unity is just kind of like a weird hodgepodge of Orzov cards, basically. I do like how our opponent's just not playing counter spells. I think that's one of the weakest thing in, in Esper control. I'm just not not too big fan of the the counter magic. As you can tell here, like no matter what we play, our opponents got answers and everything. Um, yeah, they're doing very good. Yeah, this one locked up. Hmm. So besides disdainful strokes and negates that are definitely coming in, oh, I guess we got the frilled mystics also. I'm not sure what else I want to do. I don't. I don't really want Ixlon's binding in this matchup. With uh, them being a mortified deck and everything. Um, this is 62. Lyra is pretty easily answered. You can trim those, but. Familiars aren't necessarily great. But at least they come down early. Yeah, we could have Honor Guards for Bell Haunts. Um, I don't know if that's a necessity. Um, they could be playing a lot of Hostage Shakers. Which would certainly be annoying. The problem with a card like Honor Guard is... Unless they actually have, like, Bell Haunts, yeah, basically unless they have Bell Haunts and Hostage Takers, it's not going to be doing anything. And even if, if they do have those, then they have their Cast Downs and Mortifies and, and other cards that they can just uh, kill it or Teferi, that they'll just get rid of the Honor Guard if it's annoying. If not, it's just going to be a 1-3 that won't help us win a game. All right, so now we have the, the Krasis and the Vivian. Those are certainly more important cards than the other cards we had before. But we don't have anything to do early, really. Especially not having a second white source for Resplendent. Hopefully they play an Ascanta here. Dang. Why would you just why would you even tap my one blue land deck? I'm basically counter countering this because they don't have black mana. If like one of these would be a black source, I would not be countering this. But since they're since they don't have the black mana, I should have done this first because we saw Warren Warden. I forgot about Warden. Thought it was a little risky to just activate the Growth Chamber Guardian in the face of Warren Warden. Yeah, they, they could have definitely had black mana afterwards and, and punished us for sure. I, 
mean, I can let this resolve and then Vivian it. Or I can Frilled Mystic it. I think I'm going to save the, the Frilled Mystic and just Vivian this. The one, the one kind of problem of, of this Sometimes line is that we have shields down here for a minute. That if they have like another Ixlon's binding for the Vivian, um, it can be certainly annoying. I've seen things that would break someone like you. I want to keep being able to keep hit land drop, keep hitting land drops. Um, your Splendid Angel doesn't do a whole lot for us. But I need to be able to play threats and have counter magic available kind of thing. So saving the Mystic means we got rid of a Karn. It's valuable. Hey, Snap took that at Johnny. He kept that card on top. Come to me. Hmm. That's very, very kind words there, Ilman. Uh, Ilman. Thanks for the kind words, and I'm I'm glad you're here. Glad you're here watching the stream, and um, hope you're having a good weekend. So, not really like thrilled about any of these cards. I'm gonna take the land. I don't want to play more creatures out for like a Kai's Wrath or anything, so that's that's one reason why I'm not really thrilled about any of those cards. You know, the best thing for us to take up and be able to find would have been a Frilled Mystic. Ha. I've seen worse. So if I do play Krasis for six, we would draw three three cards. Oh, Coffee Master is gifting out a son to Ilman. So there you go, Ilman. You get to use use your hype boats in the channel and everything. Hope you use those emotes. Thanks, Coffee Master. That was really kind of you, Coffee Master. Um, so if we draw three, that does put us back up to seven. So um, we don't have to go to discard. Even though, like, it's a you know pretty likely Kaya's Wrath, um, it does force him to have it. That was really nice. All right, so they're playing with that. With seeing them have having binding, I want this crushing canopy in the deck. Um, I'm gonna take this other Lyra out. Mm, I guess I'll play two Shalize, one Lyra. Neither of them are very good, but. They're legendary, so might as well uh, mix them up. All right, let me finish out this YouTube video. We have a turn two play, turn three play. Good mana. And then we're keeping it. Das Bomb. Get in on the action. 
we do need to um, draw our our top end cards. You know, I'm looking for uh, Vivian, Krasis, that kind of stuff. A Johnny. Where are my hype boats? Celebrate. Das bomb with this resub. Thank you so much. So I've been there now for four months. It says eight. Maybe I missed one. We're going to eight. Um, Ooh, Coffee Master getting that foil. Bell Hunt. It's not, you know, super likely that our opponent is going to be playing a Wrath after playing Bell Hunt. Right, let's pump up this thing. Pump it up. Alright, I didn't get the upkeep stop in time. I was, you know, I just upkeep stopping doing that again. Alright, so we got all the growth chamber guardians out of the deck. I don't know how much I really want to extend, though. <laughs> Daily quest, play 30 red-white spells, attack with 45 creatures. Yeah, that's that's her heroic reinforcements, deck building 101, if I've ever seen it. Yeah, the M19 cards are still going to be in your collection and everything, even when M20 comes out. Nothing's going to happen to them. Yeah, Bell Hunts could definitely fit in Esper Duplicate Sideboard. Um, I could see playing it instead of Lyra. It's reasonable. I, I like how Lyra can come in against Mono Blue also, where you don't really want the um, the Bell Hunts as much. So, oh yeah, so like the same cards, um, no, like, so you should be able to use your M, you'll be able to use your M19 version, um, for cards that are like, you know, uh, in M20 as well. You'll be good, you know, so like a card like, uh, you know, like Duress, for example, you can use whichever version of Duress. Our opponent didn't do a whole lot there. Played a couple bell haunts. That was about it. But Biolance is familiar. It was pretty nice. It ate a cast down and allowed one of our um, chamber guardians to get to an 8 8. Hoping to play against Aggro here. I haven't seen very much Sultai recently. We're hoping Aggro because, you know, these Angels and Baffling End are great against Aggro. Um, 
Sultai's gonna be a little tougher. Sultai is really good at killing angels. I don't know exactly what I'm waiting on this baffling end for. So impossible I should just be using it on the land war elf. Especially with our opponent now playing Wild Growth Walker on turn two. And a Hmm. Don't get to baffling on that thing. Hmm. That Vanifar is going to kill us. That Vanifar is going to kill us. Kind of the problem with Baffling End instead of Seal Away. Should have just done this before. Should have just done that before. So with having Prime Speaker Vanifar in play, our opponent probably does have a lot of options, so that's why they're taking a little bit longer. Um, you know, they can think about all the permutations of like what cards they want to get from their deck, like uh, at like three mana slot, four mana slot, all that kind of stuff. We'll try to get a surprise block with the Angel of Grace here. Don't just have that to be able to sacrifice, because our Vanifar is is at least um, sorcery speed, so we get to eat the Chupacabra and they don't get to just sacrifice it immediately. Hey, Versican. That is quite strong. Yeah, I mean, they can just go get another Chupacabra with this. They can find Broker back Chupacabra. They can copy Chupacabra. Like, we're, we're very dead. Very, very dead. Honor Guard! Finding, um, I think just those. Deputy Detention doesn't make a whole lot of sense with Honor Guard. So I suppose... We should cut those. Um, hmm. So they have, you know, good answers to our angels. Um, that could be a spot where I trim. 
Yeah, that's that's probably where I want to trim. So if we if we take out a Shalai and a Lyra, um, and the Angel of Grace, that gets us down to sixty one. And then I guess I'll just trim a familiar. We saw that game, you know, familiar is not very good without the other things. Should I be should I be playing all four baffling ends? I needed a baffling end that Lilana wore earlier. And baffling end's not as good against this matchup, like where they're they're not relying on Krasis. Maybe I just trim baffling ends. Just let them have those other things. And get the angel back in here. No, I'm not playing Frilled Mystic. Um, with Takali Honor Guard. And it's just not very reliable that we're going to have the four mana available and one of our two Frilled Mystics the turn that they're playing. Um, Prime Speaker Vanifar, you know, it's just... Gosh. His hands are horrible. These hands are horrible. Let's just get Takali Honor Guard, please. A couple lands. Alright, we'll pick this one. Alright, Growth Chamber Guardian, can you single-handedly defeat a um, deck full of value creatures on and they have seven cards now eight can you do it all by yourself no what is going on okay well I can't can't play that thing anyway thank you there we go you can do it girl chamber guardian We need to draw Takali Honor Guard, that's what we need to do. Maybe the opponent concedes. Can't handle this singular 4-4. We'll just get rid of this branch walker. Alright, we almost got there. 4-4 brought him down to 12. Three more turns. Down to ten. Dang. Didn't get there. Ooh. Finally. All right, honor guard. Quasi duplicate the chupacabra. All right, come on, land drop, land drop, land drop, land drop. Land drop. Okay. Mold of four. It's coming in clutch. We're still doing it. No planeswalkers. We can't beat any planeswalker. Uh, that's not really a card we can beat either. Uh, we can kind of beat it, I suppose. Hmm. I don't really want to play a 2 2 Krasis, do I? Not really. That's, something, that's a 6 6. Man, that's so big. 6 6 it really is big. Hey, Phantom. Good afternoon. That's really big. Alright, so we draw land. We get to activate this Chamber Guardian and play another 2-2. Ooh, baby. Even better.
Bye bye, Muldratha. Dude, Honor Guard is coming in clutch. All right, let's get this Shalai out here to protect the Honor Guard in case our opponent draws a removal spell. Hey, good job, King Toll. We got a Cinder Vines from the Daily Booster. Nice, that's a good card. Yuck. Hmm. So I just want to draw land here to get towards the Shalai activation. You buy wild cards with gems? You you can. You just have to you just buy six packs with gems and that's that's one wild card. Alright, they get their own flyas. So Familiar is pretty nice here. It does um, about re reduce this cost of, of Shalai, so now we'll be able to start activating Shalai next turn. So that's pretty clutch. Honor Guard is coming through real clutch. Man, if we're going to win this on our Moldafor, looks like we are. We we had some really great draws with drawing the Honor Guard when we did. Hmm. Anything shrinking the Shalai? Who knows? Maybe. I don't want to sit there and take the damage, though. Oh, I should double block the Krasis. I should just double block with Krasis and Shalai. Um, yeah, I should have double blocked, I think. No, maybe not. Go down to one. So, Krasis for three. Gains me one life, draws me one card. But doesn't help me that much. Um... Then I'd have to have the two Krasis's block one of these. So they kills the 3-3. Three, three. We block the other one. We take six. Go down to four. Alternatively, I can activate Shalai. Block one. Take nine. Go down to one. They make another one. That's not very good. So lands at. I really should have double blocked there. Uh, last turn. Because we could have had one of these dead. And then with one of them dead, I could just have, could have just activated the Shalai and, and been able to kill the other, and we'd still be taking six. Can we beat four of these things? That's the game. Can we beat four of these things? Really needed a land. I 
really, really needed a land. They have a crisis for four. Crisis for three is just not good enough. Alright, we have to hit like two land drops in a row now. Okay, so if I'm going to be chomping anyway, might as well just do two. I'm going to have to chomp, chomp. need to land. Oh, come on. Well, that still puts me to five. Or so that... <sighs> Druid. So, next turn we can have Resplendent Angel and be able to activate Resplendent Angel. Um, have a lifelink. The five lifelink though, we're gosh, we're still we're We're gonna be taking exactly lethal. Man, if I only would have just double blocked to begin with. We're taking exactly lethal next turn. annoying yeah this is annoying we're taking exactly lethal man I could have won this if I would have just double blocked that very first turn, but we we're just too far behind now. <laughs> and we just need one more life to stabilize. We need two life. We're, we're at one. Uh, Angel plus Krasis for a big... Or Angel plus Druid the previous turn for a big Krasis would not give me enough life. Um, you can't... We couldn't gain five life from a Krasis. That, that Resplendent plus Incubation Druid next turn would not have um, helped us. Lyra would have been our, our card to, to draw to get out of this. Um, all they need to do is swing out. And if we would have just not drawn the shock land, you know, we drew the shock land to play the incubation druid. If it was just not a shock land, if it was just a, you know, if we would have had the two life from not a shock land, we would have been fine here. Um, but as you as you can tell, we can gain we can gain five from resplendent angel. Um, but we gain five, but we're taking six, and we're going to zero. So. We are dead. We needed not a shock land. We needed a regular land. The previous turn. And, you know, like, we, we definitely completely stabilized after this. You know, if we, if we had one more singular life total because of, like, Resplendent Angels, definitely stabilize. Um... So close on the Mold of Four. Takali Honor Guard... Almost got there, single-handedly. Um, but yeah, if I, I just threw my three, you know, the very beginning, you know, like five turns ago, just threw the three, four, and I needed to throw the two, two in front also. Oh, did I need a white source? So it couldn't have been just any land? Had to have been a white source. Let's get rid of this hand with a double tap land and not very much else. I mean, these cards are, like, these are good. These are the cards in our deck.
We'll see if we get to keep a reasonable amount of cards anytime soon. You know, they can have the shock. So I want to wait on the Growth Chamber Guardian. Just make them use their mana on their turn on their turn at least. No shock. Um, two two hydro crisis doesn't doesn't inspire much um, confidence or anything here. Let's go with the deputy. So, like, if our opponent plays crackling Drake. Uh, we can top deck a green source, be able to have Vivian kill the Crackling Drake, and we don't have to worry about, like, the Vivian dying to, um, something. Hmm. Why can't we have two green sources? Alright, so now, if I do go Vivian, kill Crackling Drake, then they get to attack Vivian with Growth Chamber Guardian. Um, other option is just playing uh, Familiar, adapting, and, you know, attacking in for four, and, like, most likely just trading the Guardians. Um... And I guess I don't even have to really play familiar. I could just adapt and play a new guardian. Wild Ant. <laughs> Get that out of here. Drake. Phoenix is a problem. Meet my newest friend. Don't counter it. Yeah, we have seen a lot of main deck and trancing melodies these days, haven't we?
<clears throat> yeah, you can adapt on the opponent's turn. Yep, you can adapt at instant speed. That was not a good use of the card shock. Not a good use there. You can't stop nature. Hmm. -mm. So they can't kill. Like, attacking out will kill Lyra. Or, sorry, we'll kill Vivian. Sorry, my bad. So, we'll eat the Terramander. Um, if they just attack with Phoenix and Growth Chamber, then we'll, you know, eat Growth Chamber. Hey, Yud. Yeah, absolutely. Having a lot of fun today, as always. Um, yeah, Asper Duplicate was very impressive. I'm gonna get that underneath the... There we go. Get that underneath that timer thing. Surprised it just... Every Didn't throw the other two out and let the Terramander die. Pretty surprised about that. So we've seen him have Syncopate. This doesn't necessarily play around Syncopate. Or, I mean, it does. Sorry. Sorry. This does play around Syncopate, so... I'll throw that out there first. And then we'll play Familiar. We did play against Mono Blue three times with Esper Duplicate, so that that helped. Um, our deck turned out to be pretty good against Esper Duplicate. Or against Mono Blue. All right, they're down to eight. Niv Mizzet. That card's super spooky, scary. Um. Spans of the map and the world. So shall I activation costs four. I can play Hydro Crisis for two and activate Shalai. Or I can play Biomass Familiar and acti activate Shalai. Other way, I want to activate Shalai. You don't have to. Sh we wouldn't have had to shock. All right. With them not blocking, I'm gonna just craces for six. So we're not activating Shalai, but getting this large. Another large flyer on the battlefield. Oh, I could double activate Shalai. Right. Right. I could have just dubs activated. Oh, I like getting the Hydro Crisis out. 
We'll see if they can deal five. Hopefully not. You know, it's pretty likely they can. Well, that's a quick way to deal damage. All right, angels versus dragons, dual deck. So going Baffling End for the Enigma Drake means they do have to block with Niv-Mizzet. Um, never mind. At least we gain five for Resplendent. Yeah, I didn't want to baffling in the the Phoenix token because I wanted to take out a Enigma Drake where they had to they had to block with the Niv Mizzet. Force them to make that block. Whoops, not you. You. Game. What's going on? There we go. Might as well throw these things out there too, I suppose. I am no Oh yeah, I can't activate Resplendent Angel because this auto tap. It's tap too much white. Yes, yeah, so I can't even activate the Resplendent Angel to try to keep it alive. Might as well just throw these things out there. Uh, you can find the Esper deck list um, on the Stream Decker page. Streamdecker.com slash deck slash Todd Stevens MTG. There's a link to it right there. <laughs> Too used to the glasses now. It's weird without the glasses. That negate is a killer. Four of our attackers are lethal. Alright, now will they have to actually block with the Niv? Finally. Hopefully. Drawed so many cards in Niv Mizzet. It's such a crazy good card. Misery. Misery's Land with the Twitch Prime sub. Let's get some hype in the channel for our new subscriber. Thank you, Misery. All right, finally. Got that thing out of here. They probably have another niv Mizza by now. Right? <laughs> niv Misery? No kidding. <laughs> yeah, the Girl Chamber Guardian was trying to come back to our team. <laughs> Girl Chamber Guardian's like, this has been long enough. I can't even hear this melody anymore. I'm trying to go back to the other side. How can we deal these last two points of damage? Playing around syncopate 
you know, activating Incubation Druid and then casting Angel of Grace would be better for us. Yeah, right? They have all basics in their niv Mizzet deck, and they're just crushing with it. How many Krasis have we seen so far? We've just seen one Krasis? Two Krasis? Seen two. Alright, that resolves. Now we'll adapt. So many Liras. MTG's been treating me pretty good today. Alright, so we can reset our life total to 10. That's probably a valuable asset to have available. Um... This league, not as much. We were on a mold of five here. Last game, we were on a mold of four. Um, and we were one life point away from winning the last game for the getting the um, second match. Um, but Esper Duplicate was really fun earlier. Yeah, Phoenix. This Phoenix has been awesome. Phoenix just checks Lyra. So they're at 27. We're at 35. Drawn extra eight cards because of Niv Mizzet. We've drawn extra cards though, of course. So we've drawn more than that. So we've drawn extra cards with Vivian and Krasis. Yeah, 45 King Toll. You gotta, you're, you're way behind if you think I'm at 45 life. No counter. No counter. No counter. Yeah, duplicate. Yep, we duplicated Seraph, um, Thief of Sanity, Hostage Taker, Chupacabra, Kite Sail Freebooter, all that kind of stuff. If you ever miss any decks, um, I, ha I do have all my replays on the YouTube channel, and in fact, the Esper duplicate is already up there. Um, so, hope y'all give me a follow there on the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Todd Stevens MTG. You can see them all in action there as well yeah i i think our opponent has syncopate as well um we are 200 youtube subscribers from our 2000 goal which will be a 12 hour stream forecast is cloudy with a high chance of me winning kill incubation druid dang Ow. Ooh, a Highland Lake. A dual land. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we need to make sure we can pay for one with the syncope. Okay, it's better now. I um I cannot wait till I move back to Texas and get somewhere with a lot better internet. Get some somewhere with like fiber internet and stuff and not have this mountain internet where I'm at. Hey what's up Dirk? 
All right, so we got to be able to pay for single paid. So we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So let's just do eight. I guess there is a use for the ninth power. Or the yeah, I guess nine does make does have a use because they're at two and we have a trample creature. So we'll just go nine. Have one available for syncopate. The somewhere in the Dallas Metroplex. Um, haven't you know picked out exactly where I'm going to be living yet, but be moving back to the Dallas Metroplex. Yes, yeah, so our opponent could double block Lyra. We have more Lyras, but yes, they they could have thrown two Enigma Drakes in front of a Lyra, and Lyra would kill one Enigma Drake, and then the second Enigma Drake would kill the Lyra. Mm, decisions, decisions. But from from previous combat in this match, it didn't. That uh, blocking was not apparent. <laughs> no, no, Johnny's private. No! Don't tap the incubation, druid! Uh Don't tap the druid. I wanted to attack with that thing with this Ajani. I guess they can syncopate now, though. They can tap out and syncopate. Bleh. So I was going to be a Johnny if it resolves, though. I was going to tick up on Hydro Crisis and Incubation Druid and be able to attack with all of them. I am proud to fight by your side. And it did resolve. Let's still put the counters there. Be strong. Yeah, my, my arena's getting laggy. How long this game's been and stuff. No, this is not lethal. Because they, they get to block like this. Down to one. So that syncopate finally going to do some work for the opponent. All right, they finally use that. I guess I could have shocked. I don't like shocking, but could have shocked. <laughs> Ten turns later, dealt one. <laughs> we have dealt one damage. Yes, Hi a Johnny can bring back Hydrocrasis, yes, but Hydrocrasis will enter as a 0-0 zero, zero creature, so... Ooh, um, let's see what we got. Wouldn't be beneficial to bring back Hydrocrasis, but it can. Um, so there's one more Growth Chamber Guardian in the deck. So I could minus the Johnny and get back a Growth Chamber Guardian, and then there's one more of them. I'm a little surprised they didn't just Rao kill the Lyra. A little surprised. You have not killed me yet. Yeah, Pony, you've not killed me yet. Look how far you have come. <laughs> yeah, that's. I was thinking about my life. I didn't want to shock. I don't like shocking, but I guess we're at the old 101. So we probably have enough Dalmatians by now. Will our opponent mill out? They're at 20 cards. 
They've gone through three Enigma Drakes, two Crackling Drakes, um, three Terramanders. I'm just trying to like wait for a good time to make my life total 10. I haven't quite found it yet. There's another Crackling Drake. They're down to 16 cards. I wish you only the best. All right, new Lyra hype. No, don't tap the incubation druid. So they can have, um, they could have a syncopate for six. Uh, we'd have five mana to play around a syncopate if I play a Johnny. So they could syncopate in a Johnny. I didn't have it. Our kinship ensures our victory. There's more work to do. I mean, I can't attack with the druid, but they just block with the phoenix. Let's draw another card with that Growth Chamber Guardian. Get some more <laughs> creatures out here. Time to choose. Always oh, so exciting. Lyras are legendary. We already had one in play earlier. And so that's why I wasn't playing another Lyra, because they're legendary. You can only have one on the battlefield. I didn't want to save that Bane Fire to go face. Alright, so making it so their Incubation Druid does not trade with anything. So we take out the Crackling Drake and a Growth Chamber Guardian. I don't think our opponent's going to be able to kill us. Especially with that Crackling Drake dying. Like, even if they stabilize... Like, I don't even know if they can deal 101 damage. What I'm saying is I'm not sure if they're going to be able to deal 101 damage before they mill hmm. out. Because, like, Ral is milling them out pretty decisions. quickly, too. Um, it's not a coil in the bin, so now they're down to 10 cards. I think that's the last Crackling Drake. Yeah, Johnny would only bring back a 0-0 zero, zero Krasis. So, it doesn't, so that doesn't help us. I'm gonna need to reset this this arena. The arena's lagging here. You got another blocker? Got a removal spell? Alright, they got a removal spell. They're still alive.
Um... We still need you. Yeah, we still need you, Incubation Druid. So the opponent has five cards left. They just really rifled through their library that last turn. They are now out of... They've gone through all four Enigma Drakes and all four Crackling Drakes now. We're not, yeah, we're not going to have time for a Johnny Old. They need to cash in this rally. They need to minus. They, they just can't afford to tick up anymore. So they have to minus and kill Lyra. Are you kidding me? How are you ticking up when you have four cards in your library? How are you even doing that? But I don't think... like I think they're just out of cards that can kill us from 106. Um, no, we we have a lot of cards. They 23, so no explosion would not have milled us. All right, we milled them out. Okay, we have two minutes here. I'm gonna do a quick reset. Should be, still have enough time for sideboarding. This should only take like 20 seconds, maybe 30. Honorable Sudoku. Yep, on to game two. Sideboard in. I do get to sideboard, right? Okay. Minute 20. So that took like 30 seconds. All right, so... I uh, usually don't really like baffling in too much here, but that we've seen Terramanders and... Terramanders and Enigma Drake, so I think I'm kind of in there. Um, what is not very good here? Stainful Stroke. Stainful Stroke's great against Crackling Drake and Ral. It doesn't counter Niv. It doesn't counter anything else. It's really good against five total cards in their deck. It's not very many. I guess Phoenix also, but um, what am I cutting? Let's cut a Shalai. Let's cut the deputies. Deputies do get killed. A biomance is familiar. Maybe more familiars. Two twos just don't really matter. Let's try that. Right, so yeah, Stroke is good against Ral and Crackling Drake, but that's it. So it's like five cards in their deck that we can disdainful stroke. I guess they have Entrancing Melody. We could just we could disdainful stroke that. It's just it's not very many, so so I'm not playing it. They can, you know, certainly kill us with like the other fifty five cards in their deck. Um At least we get to keep six this time. It's the most cards we've kept in a hand in a while. We only had um, only had five. We had five cards in our opening hand that last game. Uh, I know that was like four hours ago, but. Drakes. Six packs. So so far opened opened three so far. Tajik, Sacred Foundry, and Niv Mizzet. Yeah, those are those are awesome packs. There you go. They're not quasi duplicate, but you know, next best thing. Um Do I want to play Resplendent Angel to be able to block and stuff? Yeah, I do. Mirsir TV with that tier one sub. Let's get some hype for our, our new subscriber, getting us to 
sub number 10 on the day, which we'll be cracking a pack to celebrate that. Thank you so much. All right, um, let's go for binding on Drake so they just can't play any more Drakes. Yeah, let's go Binding on Drake. Hope our opponent has more Drakes in their hand. By Drakes, I mean Enigma, specifically. Enigma Drake. how this Angel of Grace does. Yeah, if I feel like... I kind of feel like Thousand Year Storm could have been a rare. Like Niv could have been a mythic and Thousand Year Storm could have been a rare. Well, that game went a little quicker. Uh-oh, we got a Mythic Reward and not a Mythic I own? Wow, that does not happen very often. Ooh, what could this be? Tishana, the Voice of Thunder. That was just a reward for just winning a game. All right, we got to our 10 subs. Let's crack a pack. Um, There's only... Only a couple mythics we need left here. We are, we have all the rares in the set. Let's see if we get a mythic. No, nope, got a rare. All right, add it add it onto that gem total. Yeah, that was a reward for game one. That was a a good reward for that that game one. Um, yeah, I've been I've been satisfied with Lazav, and as per duplicate. Um, second Reaper is certainly an option, too. I like the Lazav, though. I would, I mean, I'm not planning on taking the Lazav out. Uh, currently, right now. We should call this deck the Mulligans. Got a real bad case of the Mulligans. Keeping six is the most we can keep. Our last games have been four, five, six, six. A Johnny's welcome. You are welcome, opponent. Mullabant. <laughs> hmm. I'm gonna have to deal with that card, aren't I? Do I just baffling in that immediately, or do I GCG first? And then baffling end. I guess I GCG first. It means I've taken a hit. I guess we'll just baffling end. We're gonna have to do that on that card anyway. Forsaken Sanctuary. So they have an exile removal spell on the Growth Chamber Guardian. Uh, our Johnnies won't really do anything. Ooh, that's a good draw. We're not really racing him. I'm gonna kind of hold back. They're gonna have lots of life. That's fine. You can have lots, lots of life. We can beat every single card that they've played so far quite easily. So 
We'll see what their last card in hand is. Um, is baffling better? Is baffling end better than seal away at times? It is good Grody. to see strength is born of struggle. Um, you know, there's certainly times where seal away is better. I. You know, I, I do like how Baff, you know, like, since we're playing creatures, our opponent may not always be attacking with, like, the, th the things that we need to remove. I think, I think Seal Away is, like, better whenever you're not having creatures to block and the opponent's just kind of always attacking kind of thing. But we certainly need to, like, Baffling End to, like, uh, Runaway Steamkin or um, the the creature that costs white, 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 the White Lord, uh, Benelish Marshal, things like that. Um, before they attack or, um, you know, getting rid of Wild Growth Walker right away before, you know, before they, like, play their Explore creatures and then attack with Wild Growth Walker. All right, so they're playing Mono White deck. Should be a pretty good matchup for us. Do I even need these bindings? Yeah, it's just safe to have the bindings. I'll take the Ajani's out. Takali is for Sultai. Um, in this matchup, I don't think they'd have the things that we'd really need Takali for. They're on six. Yeah, well, let's just go to six. Ooh, breeding pool. Okay, I thought they were all tap lands. Um, nice, good, good breeding pool here though. <laughs> I cannot choose who I'm paired against. Severo. No, do not put militia bugler in the deck. Militia Bugler is just underpowered. There's there's not a, a single card in the Esper Duplicate deck that's worse than Militia Bugler. Angel Time, Resplendent, Lyra, their Mythics. Opponents playing like Uncommons. We have Mythics. Mythics beat Uncommons. It's the story you hear about Limited. Dang, never mind. Mythics died to Uncommons. A rare. Alright, so it's if they lose life, you put a counter on this thing. It doesn't matter the amount of lot of life lost. Um, just each iteration of them losing life, the Paladin of Atonement gets a counter. I kind of feel like my opponent's going to attack into this Incubation Druid. It was an uncommon death. opponent. They gotta learn somehow, though. Um. 
Let's get these growth chamber guardians going. I'm, I'm basically just doing getting these things going. And obviously, Lyra is a lot better, but in case they have like another murder, uh, you know, another removal spell, might as well just kind of throw these things out here. And not we don't don't need to play Lyra yet. See, and that's why I didn't play Lyra. The opponent should be murdering the 2-2 Growth Chamber Guardian also, not the 4-4, so that uh, we wouldn't be able to adapt and go get more. There's not really that, as you can tell, how they didn't attack it. I, anyway, there wasn't a difference really between the 2-2 and the 4-4. If I was more worried about my opponent actually uh, killing the... Yeah, you know, I wasn't really worried that my opponent would use a removal spell on the 2-2. Um... previously, which is why I threw it out there, even though it would have been better to save in my hand. those things. So I'm going to get rid of this Paladin of Atonement so that it just doesn't, you know, gain counters and all that kind of stuff. And here we go. Yeah, you know, we're playing in the event. I can't choose who I'm playing against. Uh, you know, it's a newer player. They, they paid the entry fee and everything and All right, so we are three and one. Let's see if we can win the last two before we pick up a loss. And then we're gonna have a, um, a couple uh, viewer submitted donation decks after these two here, um, after Bant Familiar, we have the deck that's called Orzov Unity, which is a hodgepodge of Orzov cards all together, and um, then some Gruel Dinos after that. So let's get the Incubation Druid down first, so we could have, um, potentially could have a Johnny next turn. I think if our opponent plays like a Search for Escanta here, um, I want the Ajani to resolve, so I'll be playing Ajani. That was a horrible draw step. Not a card I want in this matchup at all. No, my Ajani. Hmm. So, I mean, we can play a Krasis for two. It's just not very... It's not a very exciting Krasis. This is not a very good turn either. Now Krasis for two. Draw our card. Krasis going infinite. Yeah, for, uh, yep. Uh, Mercer kind of answers there, but, um, yeah, donation decks cost $20. Um, to have, have your deck played on stream. 
Um, if you donate for a deck, you can pick uh, first, second, third, or fourth, like whichever um, spot you want um, in the day and what day you want me to play it. Another way to get a donation deck is to um, place an order through one of my sponsors. I'm doing free donation decks if you order um, a new toothbrush, uh, a new Quip toothbrush, or um, if you get a new uh, pair of sunglasses or watch through MVMT. So if you do either of those, um, you can you get a free donation deck as well. So instead of paying $20 for a donation deck, you can do 25 for uh, Quip, get a stylish electric toothbrush, and you get your first referral, or your, sorry, your first refill free by going through my referral. Um, and then um, you also get the donation deck as well. All right, so they did have the removal. That's fine. Sorry, I'm late. This deputy attention is definitely not just like, you know, dying, right? It's definitely gonna just. Stay alive and deal 19 damage to our opponent. That didn't go according to plan. Glad we're drawing these baffling ends. They are. Those are some good draws. Yeah, nothing bad could happen here, right? This deputy certainly is never gonna die, right? Skip to the good deputies part. and baffling ends. These are these are the cards I'm sideboarding out. Man, I'm not. I'm not sure. What, I don't understand your question too much. But like, no matter whatever mode you you play on arena, you're gonna get um, paired against other people playing the same mode as you. No matter which mode you choose. So third chapter of Eldritch Reborn has nothing to get on the opponent's side. On our side, uh, that Shalai may be the best thing. Um, their opponent just thought erasured away. At least there's nothing really better than the 4 4 Hydra Crisis currently. Enough. We know about this forest, we'll play that. Their only options really are just like Shalai or a Johnny. I guess they get Deputy. No, because Deputy just kills the Krasis. Never mind, Deputy's the card they get. Yeah, that's the card they get. Keep up the pace. Yeah, it's okay. Um all right, this draw step is not good. We're conceding. That's Kanta and Teferi. Can't beat both of those. We have to have a really good draw step. And we did not land on a good draw step, unfortunately. So, I, yeah, I haven't bought shirts in a long time. My favorite shirts are Mark Anthony shirts, though. Um, but I did get them years and years ago, but they still fit fine. This is a Mark Anthony shirt, for example. They fit well. Um, I got them at Kohl's long ago. Alright, Disdainful Stroke, Negate, Frilled Mystic, 
Um, Deputy comes on out. Lyra and <clears throat> going to cut the Shalai for the Crushing Canopy. For Escanta, Elder Shoeborn, they could have flyers after sideboarding. Yeah, I want that one canopy. Shalai and Lyra just aren't very good in this matchup. And so I don't I don't mind trimming on a a legendary um a three of four mana legendary with this specific seventy five. I wouldn't like always bring in Crushing Canopy. Did I just not bring in Frilled Mystics? Were the Frilled Mystics just off the screen and I just didn't bring them in? I really hope I brought in the Frilled Mystics. I don't even remember now. Um yeah, no, Binding's not very good. Not not against Mortify and um, Teferi and stuff like that. Okay, we did grab him? Okay, good. Well, his hand's awful. Crushing Canopy is the kind of card that I, I don't mind having in the deck, but it's not a card I necessarily want to see, and it's not, like, something I'm, I'm like, oh, man, I'm glad I have this Crushing Canopy. I don't, I don't actually want it. So it's like we have a 2-mana a 2-2 two two and 5 lands in this thing. I mean, I mean, like, what are, what are we even doing here? This has not been a, a kind league to us, mulligan wise. So it's you know, Vivian's a really good card, but this is a terrible time to draw it. Oh, we got lucky. Because he's saying it's a t terrible time to draw because I was expecting Thought Erasure. I'm sorry, Dutch. Yeah. I may need to just custom make. At that point, we can't even just hit land drop so we don't have to go to discard. We, I mean, this game's over. There's not really a reason for me to keep playing this game. Our opponent being able to hit all these land drops, uh, it's, it's exactly what you want with control. Um, believe that event takes, I believe that event takes place in April. I believe. Um, I am not 100% sure about that. That was kind of a surprising Teferi play, honestly. Alistair Born would be a little annoying. I didn't think you had meet my newest friend. <clears throat> need, you know, I need land drops. I need to be able to play like a Vivian in and a gate and stuff. Come on. Hopefully they don't have another land drop where they don't have like absorb available. Okay, good. Let's see if you're worthy. No one said restoration. It does make us painless. minus though. Not bad for a mouse.
We'll see if this works. See how many removal spells do they have? A whole lot. It's just just a game where we just never really had a chance from the beginning. Gonna do four. The difference between four and five is just is just not existent. Yeah, the deck didn't even leave me with a green source, but thankfully we drew a green source. Um, Yeah, no, I understand Dutch for the for the yeah. I understand the question. I'm sorry I can't help you more. I don't have a, a real good recommendation there. Yeah, our, our mold of five and not play a fourth land and not play anything until turn seven, whenever we're going to be going to discard. Yeah, it's it's kind of harder there, John. It's kind of harder. So we'll have we'll have negate available for a regular removal spell, but if they have you know another hostage taker, you know that would be real bad for us. We're actually um, kind of the same number of cards, even with the thief getting three of our cards. Like they're at they're down to like two other cards, and we have four. The problem is is we have we have a lot of cards that don't matter um, per se, and they have a crisis that can draw them a, a whole lot more. So the the crisis they've hostage takered at the at the very least should uh, be able to refill their hand by quite a bit. Growth chamber guardians are worst draw. I'd rather have land. Now I want to draw those. Hmm. So we have access to ten mana as it looks. going in. Can't sit back. We're already behind. Yeah, I am kind of surprised the game isn't over yet, but it's pretty close to over. And they have a million cards and it has Kanta flipped. That'll do it. All right, so three and two. 
definitely had some some mulligan troubles. You know, like we we're just losing on on most of four, most of five. Um, you know, those were pretty tough. You know, game one against Esper. Esper is the kind of deck that um, it it gains um, a good amount of value by blanking some cards in, in your main deck. Um, where you just have cards in your main deck that aren't good against your opponents. And, you know, we were drawing those, you know, with our baffling ends and deputy and stuff like that. Um, and uh, so, you know, game game two and game three, we were hoping to kind of switch that around with the with our sideboard cards, but uh, way too slow out of the gate um, after going down to five and um, having to play a two drop on turn eight for our first play. It's just not not a way to be able to win or turn seven, I guess. It was turn seven. Um, so yeah, the deputy of detentions looked pretty bad uh, throughout the league. Um, they are they are better against like some aggro decks, but this looks like a, an unnecessary card um, that that just wasn't really helpful for us and was detrimental um, more than more than anything else. Um, we have, we have, we have more land. Yeah, there's, there's more lands down here. Um, yeah, we're not just playing a, a 20 land deck at 25. Um, but yeah, so the, the deputy ascensions were not very good. Um, I think that's, that's the main card that I want to replace. Uh, moving forward, J Light Ranger, like J Light Ranger, would be a good play card there. Like I want something else, you know, kind of turn two and turn three. J Light would be a good option, but J Light's going to be difficult to cast uh, with the amount of uh, green sources we have in the deck. Um, the mana base could could probably just also maybe use a little bit of an overhaul. Like maybe that basic island should just be a breeding pool. Yeah, the basic island is just out of place. I can certainly just be a breeding pool. I guess I hadn't really touched the mana base uh, from before. Um, But yeah, something to do with this deputy of detention. Don't know exactly what I'd want there. Maybe more interaction. Um, like just playing Ixalan's Binding in the main deck instead of deputy. Like maybe just one Ixalan's Binding. Um, that's an option. Deputy is just not very good here. I don't know. Think about that. Um, if you're playing this deck, and if you have if you have any any card that you like, if you have like some some spicy cards you want to put in your deck, I think that's where uh, you can uh, play something else. Like maybe um, honestly, maybe a Hadana's Climb. Like Hadana's Climb just works really well with with Growth Chamber Guardian Incubation Druid, um, and it's just a pretty solid card. Uh, it's you know we are really low on removal without deputies so that's something to keep in mind um there is like kind of need a little bit more removal um there's not unfortunately not really better options besides enchantment removal so there we go all right so if you're watching this deck later on on youtube don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there